I am speaking from a place of experience. I am speaking from a place of having had the sales. Um, I've bought thousands upon thousands of toys. I've sold thousands upon thousands of toys. So just kind of want to share some things. He's living it. Yeah. Living proof of what you can uh, achieve going out there and, and sourcing toys. Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here at Raking Profit over at rakingprofit.com coming back to you with another video. And in this video, uh, we're gonna be sharing a beginner's guide to selling toys on eBay. So um, depending on what you can see with this angle, we've got a bunch of toys here um, that we're gonna be sharing. So we're gonna be discussing how to get started selling toys, where you can find them. We're gonna be covering a bunch of toys that uh, Vinny sourced and also some toys that I sourced. We're gonna talk about why you should start selling toys on eBay and if you're not, hopefully we can convince you to start doing it so you uh, don't leave money at the thrift stores uh, for the next guy or gal. Just stay out of Connecticut. Thank yeah, you. just stay out of Connecticut. We're in Connecticut right now <laughs> shooting this video. We're at this hotel room right now due to all the circumstances. But in any event, today we're gonna uh, you know talk about toys and hopefully this can help you to start making some money. So. Uh, Vinny, if you don't know who Vinny is, uh, he's a good friend of mine. He used to work for me years ago, uh, listing my clothing on eBay. Since then, he's uh, after, that five years ago. Yeah, after five you stopped years. working for me, it's not like you just left to sell on eBay. Like you were doing your own thing, yeah. working. And uh, a couple years later, he uh, picked up reselling, found his niche of selling toys, and now he's averaging over five thousand a month consistently with only part-time hours while he's working a full-time job. So that's five thousand a month selling mostly just toys on eBay. Uh, anything else I missed? No, um, you touched on everything. I got started four years ago and I just dived deep into toys and I've acquired a lot of knowledge and I guess I'm just here to share whatever I can to help other people kind of break into toys, break out of something else and expand their knowledge on yeah. toys or whatever that may be. So first and foremost, let's ask a couple like rapid fire questions just to kind of set the stage. Uh, where do you find toys? Um, Savers, Goodwill, Salvation Army, Tag Sales Auction. Why? Garage Sales, Estate Sales. Facebook whatever. Marketplace. There's a ton, there's a Facebook ton of places. Facebook Marketplace, Let Go, Offer Up. Why did you choose toys over clothing or over uh, sporting equipment or board games or? Well, it was by mistake. Um, I went to a Savers and I was picking up the DVDs, the CDs, the home home goods, electronics yeah. kind of thing. And that's how I got started with some video games and some odds and ends items. And there's one day where I went into the Savers and there was nothing that I was looking for. So I just scanned around the toy section and looked interesting. And I saw this, and I was ignorant back then, so I didn't really know what I was doing, but I saw this old little horse inside a bag. I'm like, wow, this looks super old. This must be antique. Like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't look it up or anything. I even forget the name. I can't believe it. I'm so embarrassed. Like, I can't remember the name. Briar? No. started with an R and it was a little plastic toy, huh. like rocking horse. So I bought it and I brought it back to my warehouse or my dad's shop where I was at the time. And I looked it up and it was going for like 80 to $90. And I'm like, my mind was blown. I'm like, no, I can't be real. I'm just going to put it up there for an auction and see what happens. Started the auction at 20 bucks. That thing went all the way to like $98. Almost, it just barely hit 100. And, and you were struggling back then too. I remember you were trying to sell Lego sets yeah. and all types of I'm things. I'm like, oh my God, I got to look at these bags more. So that's what started. And then I started thinking I knew what I was talking about. I just started buying bags and buying bags. And like, I started learning, okay, this Power Ranger does well. This Ninja Turtle does well. This Playmobil does well. This doll does well like I started learning as I went on and that's kind of how it got started and yeah I just, it just ballooned into something huge yeah so that's crazy man you've you've sold tens of thousands of dollars worth uh, of toys so let's kind of discuss um, you know what kind of toys are you going after we have a bunch of toys right here and maybe we could uh, share some of these toys you know let us know in the comments you want to see you know some videos about what to actually buy and sell because we've got a ton right here so maybe we can start to share some of the toys that sell 
really well. And I do want to preface this video by saying we've created a ton of toy videos, free videos. I'll link them down below. We also have created three guides. Those are paid guides, but we go really, really in depth with what to buy, what to avoid, the models, the selling prices, so on and so forth. We created top secret toys, toy brand profits, exposed toys. So check those links down below if after this video you're like, I want more. So what do we got here? Um, I'll start off talking about this. It's it's along the- are those little people? No, these are um, Playmobil. These guys are, are what they call Playmobil and they're like um, a less piece Lego, larger Lego kind of thing from Germany. And they're made by Geobra. And um, the reason I like these is they sell very well in lots. Um, some do sell individually. But if you find a bag like this, like I think this bag I paid $3.99 for. Wait, that's a Savers bag? Yeah. They put them in the big poly bags? I thought it was only in the small bags. Oh yeah, they they put them in the wow. bag and they have like animals, safari little animals and stuff like that. And you might have to lift it up. I don't know if I, there might be a cutoff over here. I can't, you can't really see much. You yeah. want to pour it on your head or something? <laughs> Yeah. So these I always pick up and usually they do bunch them together like this. Sometimes they come in big tubs and this lot will probably sell for 30, 40, Jeez. maybe 50 what bucks. What you pay for? 5 dollars you said? $4.99. No, no, $3.99. $3.99 this bag was. And that's just one toy, Playmobil, if you find them in lots. Some individual special ones sell. Um, just a name to look out for, Playmobil, be on the lookout for that, Bolo. Um, Bolo! And that's that one. Then we have a, a one that I just discovered. Wait, you just learned about this? Um, kind of. I just learned how actually valuable they were. I didn't know. I just always grouped these with other little people. So okay. Fisher Price has a line of toys called Little People and we've all seen them. The older ones are like little, almost like little pegs with heads on them. They're either wooden or plastic. And the toy's been around for a while and they're still making them today. And uh, I think seven or eight years ago, they released a line of Disney uh, little people, and they're called Clip Clop Horses. Clip? Clip Clop. K Clip with Clop. A, with a K-L-I-P. Interesting. K-L-O-P. Yeah. Clip Clop. Disney Princess Clip Clop is a Fisher Price little people. What are those worth? And um, if you can have, you get like a lot of four or five, and they come with like little slides, you can get like 30, 40 bucks. Like these individually, I've sold these for 10. I've sold a lot of three for 20. I've sold a lot of five for 40. Now, do you usually find those in lots when, uh, and, and for the folks who are wondering, what are Savers bags? Savers is a thrift store and they put all the toys in bags and they sell them for $2.99, $5.99. Yeah, they come like this with like a little price tag. Million on it. 99 sometimes if they get real excited with their prices. Uh, but do you usually find them in lots or individually? I usually find these in lots, but if I do see them individually and there's a lot of content in the bag that I like, I will buy it and just make my money back and have free toys. But, um, interesting, the clip, clip Something clop. to look out, they do clip clop and what they do is they go down a slide and they go like this and there's play sets that go along How with it. How many come in a box, like if somebody was to buy that at the store? I think they come in sets, like, uh, Disney Castle comes with a couple, oh. other, you know, stuff like that, but I do always see these a lot. So these are toys that That's show crazy. up. crazy, how much People might this? have this in their house right now. I They're... can't believe how much they sell for. Yeah, Use. you'd be surprised. Go look them what up. What year is that from? You, to get the most bang for your buck, you want, I think 2011 to 2012, 2014, somewhere around there. Uh, wow. 2010s, somewhere there. And um, the best way to sell these are, is in lots. The more you can get, the more money you can make. So, so let me a ask you a, a good beginner question because um, I really, and I'm gonna ask you some more rapid fire questions like in the middle of these segues or whatever you wanna call them. Um, how do you ship these toys? Like just quick answers, we have videos about it. Small box, wrap it, bubble wrap, put a little filler, close it up. Do you clean the toys before you uh, take pictures of them? Uh, if they need cleaning, I do have a rag and a, a degreaser spray bottle. I'll spray it down and wipe it up a little bit so it's kind of sanitized and clean. I do it to most of them, even if they're not dirty, because it takes me 10 seconds and at least a buyer's not gonna get a messed up item. Buy it now uh, or auction with toys? Uh, toys, I always do auctions because more times than not, I find that 
especially with these one-off lots, like if you're grouping a bunch together, it's better to do auctions because a lot of times I find that buyers will fight and compete for them, especially if it's a lot of stuff and it's hard, a little harder to value like what it's gotcha. worth, so auctions. So you have about 500 listings now on your eBay store. Yeah. Um, just off the top estimating, and this will give some context for people in terms of how they should go about their listings. Would you say that 90% of your listings are individual and 10% are lots, or 90% are lots, 10% are individual? What would your breakdown be just off the top? Probably 60, 40 in lots. 60% lots? And wow. 40, 40 are just Holy mackerel. So you're saying most of the items that you're reselling, you're pairing them up at least, or? They have to go together, obviously. You can't just put a bunch of weird things together and say, oh, it's a lot. And yeah, do you have a, you, you theme, this is actually another good video topic, um, but if you've watched our previous videos, Vinny will lot things up that are meant to be lotted together, whether it's a theme or- uh, Same a, line of toy. Line of toy. Or all Power Rangers, all Ninja Turtles, all DC Comics, all Marvel Comics, were you, all die-cast cars. Were you ever mixed like Power Rangers with Ninja Turtles? Would there ever be an appropriate time for that? Um, I have done it. It's called a mixed action figure, miscellaneous action figure lot. You can look them up oh, on eBay. Gotcha. The older lots from the toys from the 80s and 90s tend to get more money, like 50 to 70, depending on how many figures you have. The newer ones, they go for 10 to 20 to 30. I mean, it's just kind of like, a get rid of thing for me sometimes when I have a lot of these action figures that I one offed and it's been six months and they haven't sold, I'll just throw oh, them in a fucking like you're done. I'll just throw them in a pile and just say, you know what, I just want my money back. It didn't work out. Yeah. Living Take this big learn. lot of action figures. So yeah, you can do that. Do you wanna uh, show any more of these toys? Um, would it benefit if I got behind the camera and did some like close ups and stuff like that? Yeah, sure. I mean, I would like you to talk about what you did to Oh, me. okay. Oh, okay. Because yeah. you're not, uh, you're not a, yeah. an everyday toy seller. You know your stuff, but yeah. you don't know the whole thing. So, yeah, so uh, you tell your story. Yeah, so I was at- I'm gonna interview, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you like fast questions. <laughs> I right? don't have a lot of good answers. <laughs> I but, don't care. Uh, <laughs> it's my turn. I'll, I'll do my best uh, to be on the other side of things. But uh, yeah, I was at Salvation Army. Salvation <laughs> Sol <laughs> Who's at Salvation Army? Was that yesterday? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was today. No, it was yesterday, yeah. It All was right. today, yeah, it was yesterday. I was at the Salvation <laughs> Army. I don't know, I go in, I guess because now I'm like being interviewed, I have to change accents. Don't be nervous, man. Yeah, right. I got scared. Um, but I was at the Salvation <laughs> Army and uh, we, I was with my mom, we were looking for books and uh, there weren't a lot of profitable books there. We were over there, it was horrible with books, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna screw around, look at the toys, I like, I rarely ever do. Um, and I came across this, and I was So like, what was your first reaction? What, what, what was the thought that came in your mind when you uh, saw this bag of whatever toys they were? Did you know what they were? I didn't, I didn't know. This was actually, this was the first thing that I saw, this little cat person. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars fans would kill you right yeah. now, I don't even know what that is. And uh, the first thing I noticed was there were a lot of units in here. Okay. Like probably like 20 plus. I think we actually have some more somewhere. I don't know. But, yeah, there's more over there. Yeah, there's more over there. It was but almost full. It was almost full and I was like, wow. That's a lot of uh, items in there. And I saw I saw Darth Vader, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't follow this stuff. But I saw Darth Vader, so I was like, all right, this is Star Wars. And uh, right when I grabbed the bag, I was like, these are hard. These are strong, right? Yeah. Like, these are sturdy. These aren't like cheap, like crap. So then the next thing I did was literally I just flipped it upside down because I wanted to see what it was. And I saw 2004, 2006, 2008. I was like, oh, okay. So now you know it's almost vintage territory. There. Yeah. I was we're like, getting, it's, we're it's, getting back. I was like, these are sturdy. Um, they're strong. But I didn't know what LFL stood for Lucas Films Limited. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know what that was. And yeah. I saw Made in China. So that like discouraged me a little bit because I didn't have the knowledge. I just was like, but I was like, this is strong. This is sturdy. And uh, I saw the price at $5.99. And uh, I knew that this color was half off. So I was like, for three bucks, I'm like, there's no way I can lose on this. So I- Yeah, I you're a, getting it for 10 cents a figure at that point, maybe 20 cents a figure. So I made the assumption since this guy was in there and I flipped him upside down, I was like, all right, LFL 2006. 
I was like, this is Star Wars. So I typed in Star Wars LFL 2006 and I saw that there were a lot selling for like 20 and some were selling for like 40 with like a couple of guys. So I was like, maybe there's some rare ones. There could possibly be a rare one in here. So I, I just weighed my risk versus reward and uh, sent you a message and waited for your response. And it's funny when I was walking out of the thrift store, I get a call from him and I thought he was like, he had saw my WhatsApp message and he's like, you at Sol you at the Salvation Army? <laughs> He's like, I just saw you and your mom walk out. I was like, yeah, I messaged you. Did you see it? And you're like, no, I haven't. So I had you look at it, and you're like, yeah, that's a good buy. So. Yeah, those are um, for people who don't know, those are these are Star Wars uh, Galactic Heroes made by Hasbro. They're a little stubby guys with open arms right here. You can see that's what they look like. Um, the newer ones are a little taller and a little bent, they have a bendable waist, but it's the same line of toys. Um, these go well in lots. Some of these do well individually. There's maybe 10 or 15 characters that you can sell by themselves for 10, 15 bucks. Uh, most of these will go in lots and you usually find them in bags like this. If you see these guys, they're little stubby guys. Um, more than 10 of them in a bag for less than five bucks, just pick them up. You can't do, go wrong with that. Yeah, so, so you, uh... You approve me on my buy? Yeah, it was a good buy. Yes. Vinny approved. <laughs> so, uh, Vinny. Yes, sir. You're going to show us some toys. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, see this guy? What is if anybody's that? familiar with Angry Birds, I brought him because, um, I brought, I bought, brought him because I just wanted to share that, um, he's a popular Angry Birds toy. This guy goes for 20 bucks by himself. That thing's so, heavy. That thing feels like a freaking, yeah. uh, like, a, like a pool ball. It's made by Rovio and Spin Master, and it's from the movies. And if you see these um, nice hard figures of Angry Birds, uh, buy them, look them up. They do pretty well. Nice. That guy by himself, 20 bucks. And now next we have, this is Kid Robot. Okay, so Kid Robot, you'll see it on the bottom. It says Kid Robot. These are from 2016. These are Ninja Turtle Kid Robots. Uh, Kid Robots, this like vinyl toy company that is new, fairly new, and they're making models of all different kind of stuff. And they're getting some popularity. They're getting pretty expensive. I've sold the Simpsons ones. I've sold Family Guy ones. Um, can't think off the top of my head what else, but I've sold a couple of these. They go well. And I actually have this lot of Ninja Turtles with all the villains and the guys on my eBay currently for $100. And I paid five dollars for all this, so I'm hoping to get a hundred soon. If you're interested in these toys, buy them for a hundred dollars from me, please. I'm just kidding. And then we got one more thing that I buy all the time. Every time I see them, everybody knows what these are: Minnie Mouse. It's Minnie Mouse, right? Minnie Mouse. This toy line is called Minnie Mouse Boutique with a B O W bow, like bow. So they have these uh, clip-on dresses and pull on shoes here and you want to find as many of these accessories in the lot as you can and the more dresses and accessories you have the higher the price will go but these are very popular it's a uh, mini mouse boutique with a b-o-w so be on the lookout for these with their accessories and looking at with maybe a handful of accessories in the doll you're looking at 15 to 20 a lot more accessories you're getting up to 30 40. Yeah, it's crazy how like some of these accessories can actually sell a lot more than the actual item itself. Yeah, if you find a bag of those um, clip-on pieces, they'll look like this, the clip-on. Uh, Fisher Price has another doll um, called Snappin' Styles that they have too. And if you find any of those clothes or accessories in bags, like I would buy them. Awesome. What else do we have here that we haven't... Did we go through all these toys already? Yeah, we kind of ran through them all. Um, we did the Star Wars, we did the Kid Robot, we did the Minnie Mouse, and the other toys were for other videos. What, so what What final advice would you give to uh, the people? Beginner? Yeah, to the beginner who, you know, they're just, the biggest limiting belief I hear is there's too much competition, it's too saturated, okay. and I'm not gonna find anything. Like, Vinny's lucky. I'm not gonna find stuff like this. You will always find toys. In, in, in thrift stores, tag sales, there's always gonna be toys. And the best advice is to don't knock something before you try it, but also don't go 
in the water blind you know like you have to you have to do some a little bit of research you have to do a little bit of homework and look for interesting toys or maybe toys you know that you've bought before or your cousins or nephews or sons or daughters have that you knew were expensive at the time you can even just start there and and take a dive in and that's how i say the best advice you can watch our videos you can buy our guides um it's almost a guarantee that if you get the guides and watch the videos, you will gonna go into a Savers, a Tag Sale, Goodwill, Salvation Army, and and you will find something. It's it's almost guaranteed. I can almost sit here and get, I can pretty much guarantee it. Yeah, the thing is, man, a lot of people are gonna watch this and just they're gonna say it's BS. It's a scam. They're just trying to sell guides. You can't actually go and find this stuff. And it, it, Dude, it sucks. everything here I just found in the last week, like literally. You can't find except dark, for a couple things. You can't like find dark. You can't find dark towers at auctions. I found that two days ago. Can't find Star Wars in a bag. Steve found it yesterday. Can't find kid robots. Found it at a tag sale last week. Can't find Minnie Mouse boutique. Found it yesterday at Savers. Don't be lazy. Like don't. One thing I want to say is all because you go out to a thrift store three or four times and don't find it, don't just judge a book by its cover. Because first of all. You're judging a book that you don't even understand how to read. Like you've probably passed out, you probably passed up these toys and you never even saw them. Until like, that's why these guides and these videos, these free videos and even our paid guides are so valuable because it allows you to identify them and see them like a new, yeah. like when you buy a new car, you see it everywhere. You go yeah. through the guides, you watch these videos, you're going to start seeing this crap all over the place. And I've seen a lot of, um, I wouldn't call them testimonials, but I call it comments in our older videos. If someone's like, oh my God, you shared that. I just went out and saw it the next day. Like if you see some of our older videos, you can go in the comments and you'll see people actually being able to see this stuff and identify it. And I think that's the most important part is like being able to identify what you're looking at. And then next step, being able to look it up and then value it. Yeah, that's that's important. Look it up, if, especially if you're on a budget and you're looking at these toys and you don't have a lot of money and you got to realize one, you're going to make mistakes, but two, you can mitigate and you can minimize your risk a little bit by going into sold listings and looking these things up and don't, if you see five sold listings and I don't know, two of them are selling for 40 and the other three are like selling for like 18, 19, don't just assume it's going to sell for 40, just assume the lowest, yeah. you know, it's important to do your, do look them up. Very important. Yeah. So when you're um, getting started, obviously. Exactly. Uh, any other beginner tips you want to give right now? Um, be wary of broken or messed up toys. Um, in the beginning, I know I didn't check the bags close enough or check the items close enough to see if they were broken or missing parts. You, you so. get nervous? I see you tapping the hand a lot. Um, this is just how I explain stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going with the rhythm of the beat. Um, anyways. <laughs> There's no music hot in this room. Uh, yeah, so I would just um, look out for broken <laughs> stuff and dive in. <laughs> and just go with the beat. I'm show me, edit this show out, me again. Just... Show me again what you do with the hands. You can just dive in. <laughs> Hopefully this video helped. Maybe there was a little bit of entertainment in there for you yeah, as well. I hope so. But go out there, make it happen, and uh, we'll see you in the video. Links below for more videos, guides, and uh, resources. Talk to you in the next one.